Hey everyone, welcome to The Dish. I'm your host, Anna Christina. Thank you so much for spending your Friday with me. Today we're kicking things off with Awareness with Anna. And February is Teen Dating Awareness Month. And did you know that one in three teens will experience some form of abuse in their romantic relationship? And here to dive deeper into that is the Executive Director of Safe Homes, Amy Hall. And we're also joined by Raymond Doe. He serves on the Safe Homes Teen Advisory board. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Uh, who better to kind of talk about all of this and go deeper and uncover the truth um, that lies behind teen dating, right? Right. Yeah. So let's talk about this because unfortunately, Georgia ranks number three in the nation for teen violence. That is absolutely shocking and so important, I think, to uncover because many people, I think, can convince themselves that this doesn't happen. Exactly. Yeah. And we're number three. Exactly. in the nation. So Amy, based on how many kids you've provided services for, talk about how real this is. You know, and as a parent myself, you don't really realize how real this is mm -hmm. until you start thinking one and three. Right. You know, I have a daughter that's 15 years old and I think if I put her with two other friends of hers, one of them may Has experience, experience or, or will. And mm -hmm. so it just becomes very prevalent. And so it is our goal to make sure that people are aware mm -hmm. that teen dating violence is a for real issue right. and to bring awareness about this cause. Well, and I think about these stats because I often think, well, these are just the people that are willing to admit it because I think that's one of the scariest things is to come forth and say, even if it's in a private situation or you're, you're um, answering it on a form, whatever it is, I mean, I still feel like there's several people that go without saying that they have experienced this. And so it's even scarier to think one in three, it could be two and three. It could yeah. be. And not many people, and that's why it's so important with the awareness and the prevention, because mm -hmm. there's so many people that don't realize that they are even in a teen dating violence right. relationship. They don't understand what those warning signs mm -hmm. are, and so mm -hmm. therefore they can't identify themselves either as a victim or an right. abuser. Well, and that's one of, the, you bring up an important subject because there are different forms of abuse. And Raymond, um, I know that being on the Teen Advisory Board, you guys go through it and help people walk through what that looks like. So can yeah. you do that for us today? I know that there's different, there's five different forms, isn't yeah. there? Let's talk about that. Um, Right off the back, uh, the very easy ones to identify, physical and emotional. Mm -hmm. um, you see those the most common, but there are also um, sexual abuse, which you know you can still find in teens, like early teens. Right. Uh, there's social, and there's mental because you know it breaks down your psyche when you under undergo things like that so right. so often, and even the social uh, breaks down into you know. Um, you know, digital, like mm -hmm. social media, right. which is a big thing in so teens now. So prevalent now, right. Yeah. And um, uh, there's even an economic, mm -hmm. economic, uh, if you come from a higher economic background or a lower economic background like a family, um, people use that as, you know, an intimidation tactic mm -hmm. or to take advantage of others. Right, and so often we think about just the physical, but there's so many other forms, like we said, and now with social media and people taking advantage of that, and like you said, the economics, but people don't even think like that that's even a thing. They exist. Right? But it is, and so, what are the warning signs? What can what should teens be looking for, or parents when when they are or their kids are in a relationship? What should they be looking for? Um, a lot of controlling mm -hmm. um, from the other partner, and it can be from either sex. Mm -hmm. um, if they're constantly checking up on you, if they're trying to control your life, saying you can't uh, be around your friends and family, mm -hmm. um, very pressuring, intimidating. Um, a lot of these, it's like on a, it's on a range of spectrum. Some of these are so drastic that people do notice them, but some of them are so, you know, subtle. Yeah, so right. subtle that people don't realize that they're in a very unhealthy situation, right. either until it's too late mm -hmm. or um, somebody else has to come in and tell them, hey, do you, right. do you see do what's you going on? Do you realize that this is happening? Yeah. And that's a, that leads me to the next thing, because what is, the next step, um, what should an adult, right, if they're watching and they're familiar with the child and maybe they're acting different, what what should they be looking for and what should be their next step? Well, and I, th I think about as a parent, mm -hmm. you know your kid better than anyone. Right. So if you see 
you know, different um, consequences to, you know, teen dating violence. Maybe right. their um, anxiety level is mm -hmm. up. Maybe they experience um, source of some sort of depression mm -hmm. um, like symptoms. Um, you know, if they're isolating themselves, mm -hmm. um, you know, those are all warning signs right. of what could be happening to them if they're going through a teen dating violence. You know, and to parents, I just encourage you to talk to your children. Mm -hmm. Tell them what healthy relationships look like, right. you know, because again, they need to be aware of what mm -hmm. those look like. Exactly. Well, and be an example, right, to what exactly. it's supposed to look like. So many people, um, kids can find themselves mimicking without even knowing right. what they're used to. And so right. I think that it's important that we are really aware of what not just physical abuse looks like, but all forms. And so um, they're not gonna go anywhere. We're gonna continue this conversation. I think it's so important, not just in the month of February, but that we continue to talk about this. Um, so we'll be right back with more of Amy and Raymond.